Hey everyone, it's Sam Atari here, and welcome to another episode of Sam Talks. This time we're talking about Twitch Plays Pokemon again, only this time we're talking about the Fire Red that has been going on. So basically everybody was like, oh, you're playing Fire Red? You should play Leaf Green since we already played, um, you know, Red version in the beginning when Twitch Plays Pokemon began. Now, um, generally I don't have to explain this, I don't feel like I should, but I'll just basically give you the gist of what this is. Twitch Plays Pokemon is a live chat where basically the people in the chat room are the ones controlling the game by pressing up, down, left, right, B, and A, start, and or select. Um, so the thing is, is like, uh, I kind of had this concern for myself. I was like, okay, we've gone through Pokemon Red, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Emerald. Now we're getting into Fire Red, which is basically just like Red version. I mean, granted, there are differences, and the graphics are different, and you can choose a female. And there are different Pokemon to catch, but ultimately it is just a remake of the first generation. So how are we going to make this interesting? Now, people started trying to do things like they tried to make pre-lore, which means they tried to make a story before the game even happened. This made a lot of people on the subreddit mad, and they're like, no, you can't create lore before you know, the game's already begun, which I agreed with, because you can't basically put a story on a track, otherwise it'll get messed up. But basically what happened was um, they tried doing that, uh, but the streamer surprised us. Basically, Fire Red was not played as an unmodded game like the other ones were. The other ones were unmodded, therefore, you know, they played just like the normal game. But this one, however, this Fire Red is on a randomizer, and a randomizer makes things totally chaotic. Now, I know that the purpose of this was to bring people back to Twitch Plays Pokemon, because when Emerald hit, the game had fallen a lot. A lot of people lost interest after Crystal, um, because it wasn't as funny as Red, and then Crystal, you know, like I said, wasn't as funny as the first one, and so they thought the third one wasn't going to be as funny as the second one, and, you know, so it lost a lot of viewers. So I know the randomizer was to kind of bring people back, get people interested, because they were bound to wonder what was going on. I mean, hell, when you look at the screen and all of a sudden you're starting out with a Machop and you're fighting a level 5 Mewtwo, like, what? I was so mad when we could not catch that Mewtwo, you have no idea. So basically, yeah, so the game's completely random. Like, uh, Brock ended up being a bug-type trainer, Misty ended up being a poison-type trainer, and yeah, it just basically has all spiraled out of control since then. So, uh, and uh, Lieutenant Surge ended up being a ground-type trainer. So yeah, so basically, that's pretty much it. We are playing a girl named A. Um, similar to our girl from Emerald, and so far in her party, right now she has a Ninkata, she has a Squirtle, uh, what else does she have? Ninkata, Squirtle, a Sand Slash, a Surskit, um, we have a Wooper, and I'm trying to think of what the sixth one is, but I can't think of it for some odd reason, but I know it's not really anything good. Um, so yeah, so our party's kind of looking kind of blah right now. We'll definitely need to change it up. We missed out on catching a Cinequil. But yeah, we're only like five days into this game, so... Yeah, so we really haven't gotten very far. Um, what was I going to say about this? So yeah, the randomizer does make things interesting. Obviously, it adds a surprise element into it. And the lore is already really heavy in Fire Red. Like, already they're talking about how... A is Bill's daughter, and how in this game we'll finally, you know, finish off Bill for good. If you've been following the Twitch Plays Pokemon lore, you know that Bill is the ultimate bad guy in these stories that are created each time that uh, one of the games is played. Basically, Bill, you know, um, steals the Pokemon from the PC, um, uses them as sacrifices and or keeps them for himself, and he's trying to stop the trainers who have the power of the voices. Um, for whatever reason, it has it's basically unknown. Right now, the lore is saying that A is Bill's daughter, and she ended up passing away, and so he messed up reality, trying to bring her back, and blah. There's another lore story where in Emerald, we finally confronted Bill, but then he said, Oh, you'll never catch me. I have, I have a new plan. You know, I basically have a new trick up my sleeve. And he distorted reality. And our player from Emerald, A, went through this portal, and she ended up becoming the A that we now have in Fire Red. So, in one essence of the lore, Bill basically said, well, you'll have to catch me in my own time, you know, back in, back in Kanto. And the A from Emerald was like, fine, I'll stop you no matter what. And then Bill messed 
of reality, and A ha ended up having to follow G-Man through a portal, and she turned into the A we have now, which I really like that story. And then, like I said in another one, um, Bill's daughter passed away, and now he's messing with reality trying to find her, and in the process, he ended up finding all these other trainers who had the power of the voices, and I guess he was sacrificing Pokemon trying to bring his daughter back, but I don't know. So there's a bunch of different stories, there's a bunch of different lore that's already been creating, created. You have, um, we had a Skitty in our party for the longest time, but finding a Moonstone was really super slim, because since it is randomized, even items are randomized. Therefore, you know, Skitty was basically useless, but his name, um, his nickname was Mao Z Meow Zedong, and I guess he ended up being, uh, he ended up working for Bill, because we ended up putting him in the PC. I'm trying to think what else. Really, for right now, the lore is kind of low, just because we have only reached three gyms, and really, it's really hard to create lore for this story, because everything's random. Now, all the lore that has happened thus far has basically been about the gym leaders, and why they switch from their normal type. Um, I just recently saw a comic about Poison Misty, and why she became Poison Misty, and it's because Bill offered her a potion to um, make her stronger, because she had not only lost to Red, but she had also lost to um, AJ. So, so yeah. So basically, he gives her this potion, tells her only to use drops. She uses too much. Starmie, her Starmie dies, and then she just ends up getting kicked out of her gym. So then she ends up poisoning everybody to reclaim it. And so she basically just has bodies floating around in her gym. And it's really crazy. It's really creepy what people come up with, but. So far, that's really the deepest lore that we have are about the gym leaders that we've been facing and why they have the random types. Also, the lore about Bill has been deepening as well. But as far as just our Pokemon in general, nothing close to what we had in Emerald, um, where we had the Virgin Meryl who ended up being M4 and, you know, Zexy and Zexinja. You know, really, as far as that happens, we really have nothing. I know our source gets called Hyperbug. We have uh, our Sand Slash, it's usually called like Fire Slash or Thunder Slash, he's called a variety of different names. Um, so we have Hyperbug and Fire Slash, um, and then we have Attack, which is a, a talk, which is our Squirtle, who likes to use Odor Sleuth all the time instead of actually attacking. And other than that, I don't think any of our other Pokemon have nicknames. So like I said, the lore is still in development, they're still trying to figure everything out, we're still trying to come up with stories for stuff, but honestly, like, I don't see that happening until later in the game. Um, other than that, everything's just crazy. Um, we missed out, Like I said, we missed out on catching that Cyndaquil, and I'm so mad because Cyclosion's like my favorite Pokemon ever, and we need better Pokemon in our party. Our Ninkatas, or our Surskit's already level 31, but we stopped it from evolving, which was terrible. Um, and yeah, so I really just have nothing else to say. We have our, we have two Pokemon that are really high leveled as usual, and then the rest are really low leveled, and we are constantly whiting out because we just have no place to heal ourselves and we can't get around to doing it. So it's your typical Twitch plays Pokemon the beginning. But the thing is, like I said, we've only been playing for about five or six days, but we're already so far into it. We already have three badges. We only have to get eight. So chances are we we will end up beating this game a lot quicker than what we beat. Uh, Emerald, even if it is randomized, we seem to be doing okay, we seem to be doing better than okay. Um, so I can, I can sense that this is probably gonna, the, uh, this quest of ours, this game, is probably gonna end up, uh, end a lot sooner than what, uh, Emerald did, and then after that I'm wondering if we're gonna go ahead and continue on to Platinum. Now, I would like to see Platinum done, I would also like to see White and, you know, uh, White or Black, or White version 2 or Black version 2 done as well, same as I'd like to see them do Pokemon X and Y. I think Pokemon X and Y would be hilarious. Um, obviously, we wouldn't be able to do things like a me or speed training, but ultimately, I still think it would be a really cool deal. Um, so go ahead and hit like if you like this video. Um, if you want to watch Twitch Plays Pokemon for yourself, go ahead and check it out. I recommend you checking it out on TwitchPlaysPokemon.net, which is the actual website which will give you highlights of the day. It'll tell you about the party, you can see the chat, you can get a live update via tweet, um, and just live update in general uh, via a separate chat system. Then of course you have your video and uh, previous Hall of Fames as well as images on the top that let you know how many badges we have, how many days we've been playing, and etc, etc, etc. So if you want the better resources, I prefer you watch it on the actual website than watching it on Twitch. 
um, but that's just my personal opinion. Also, if you want to become a religious follower of Twitch Plays Pokemon, I would suggest you follow their Tumblr or you follow the subreddit that is dedicated to it so that you can keep up with the lore, which is what makes this truly fascinating. Um, for my other Twitch Plays Pokemon videos, be sure to check out the Sam Talks playlist. I go over one about Twitch Plays Pokemon in general and show video from the Crystal playthrough. I say goodbye to Pokemon Emerald and talk about the lore there. And then, of course, you have this one right here. Um, I don't know if I'll be making another Twitch Plays Pokemon video. Um, I might do one in parting saying bye to Fire Red and talking about some highlights. I will probably not... Uh, do a Sam Talks on this often since I don't want to be updating every single day and telling people what happened in that day um, just because I just really just don't feel like keeping people up that updated on something uh, but yeah so go ahead and hit like if you like this video leave me a comment down below if there's anything that you're wanting to know um, about Twitch Place Pokemon let me know if you follow it let me know what you think is going to happen um, go ahead and give me some estimates of what you think the other gym leaders might be, um, and go ahead and start posting about what you think the E4 might be. Uh, also talk about anything else that you might, you know, think is important, who you want in the party, who you think we need in the party, what we need in the party in general in order to advance. I'm always up for discussion, and as always, someone who says, Hail Felix, uh, one lucky random person who says, Hail Felix, or not Hail Felix, ha, PewDiePie, Hail Helix, Whoever says, Hail Helix, one lucky person will be getting something from me via po my Pokemon Y version. Um, usually it's some trade fodder, but sometimes I do give out some pretty cool stuff. And now that my internet is actually wor working, so go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. And maybe it could be you. Um, anyways, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I am playing games, but at the moment I'm doing more Sam Talks just because they're fun. And just because I haven't really had a chance to record any games as of late. So go ahead and follow my channel if you feel like it. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, as always, this has been Sam Out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, ciao you guys.